What a loyal Voidling, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today's episode is all about pets and a champion's best friend. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's get right back into it with Daisy playing a little Secret Service. Clip this! Clip this! Clip this! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! We literally deleted him! Okay, besides the obvious turrets, the true pet MVP here is this loyal Alistar. Well, this is why I'm the best. I'm the best I'll ever be. The best I'll ever be. Daisy, you thick mother. Woohoo! That's a. It might get a little confusing, but the camera's currently focused on JP Dana. He is a full on ADC Ivern, which in theory isn't that great, but when your team is four supports and you have five extra frontliners, this is what that looks like. I want to see Nico and Kha'Zix's death recaps. Just how much were those Voidlings smacking for? Okay, next up, check out this Daisy synergy. Bare minimum tanks for her, not the other way around. Okay, one more auto? Oh, <laughs> oh my god! You're done. I can't move. Focus! Focus! This clip is tiltingly close. Faker goes in for the gank here, but LeBlanc's passive forces him to wait a bit before diving. Her clone snaps back and plays, making Faker hesitate as to not miss the auto attack, and the difference between no boots and sword shoes gives LeBlanc all the distance she needs to get away. No, 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 no! We're getting rapio!
¿Por qué tan rápido, boludo? So, I'm no Yorick main, but if you are, please let me know down below how the heck this works. How does Otaku have two Mist Maidens out? I don't know if I'd call this worth, but at least we know Annie knows her passives. Oy, 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 oy. <laughs> ah! Yeah, once Annie dies, Tapers does not mess around. Coming up next, this is a support Shaco versus the enemy Lux mid, by the way. Daisy's got a thing or two to teach Cat Evolved about hitting the Green Father. I was not aware that this is how Ivern's Q works. I'm dead to f Daisy. I'm dead to f Daisy! Ah! <laughs> this champ is so broken. So I can't help it. Oh, that was... Perfect. It was perfect. How did I get that? Leia's Tibbers is like a walking furnace. The AoE burn on top of the Leandries makes this Tibbers so annoying to deal with on the murder bridge. No way, what a ballsy gamble. Next up, careful about using that gap closer too early versus Yorick. 
The way the Mist Maiden is positioned here too, even if Kha'Zix flashed out, there is no running. These pets make for such strong pushers. Voidlings and the Mist Maidens make towers a joke already, but when you throw Shelly into the mix, you better watch that Nexus, even if it's only 16 minutes into the game. Joy. Ivan Damage! What the? Daisy hat gerade alleine einfach die Tristana weggeklopft! I think Bob Marley is actually a genius. Watch how he uses this teleport to keep Tibbers alive, frontlining, and still burning everyone plus tanking this hook. And then he uses the speed boost from teleport to catch up to the rise. <laughs> Martretsky is on AP Shaco support in this very close match. It's 53 minutes in and he's going for the end. Just watch how much extra DPS he gets from his clone and box. Yes sir, that was nearly an extra 1200 damage. I cannot believe he turned that around as a 1 in 14 Shaco support. Thank you. 
mein Gott. Thank you so much for watching. That is going to do it for today's episode all on the pets of the Rift. Drop a like if you did enjoy and subscribe if you do want to see some more. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and have a wonderful day.